Ocean Report here with James Jazza Dickens. How are you? Mendes, yourself? Good, mate. Thank you very much. Here at uh, Derry Matthews Gym in Liverpool, uh, ahead of your rematch with Thomas Patrick Ward. Um, looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait. The first fight was um, a bit frustrating for me. What happens in the first fight? Um, he was going to the 10th round and we clashed dead and he got a cut. And it went to points and he was up by two points on the scorecards on two of the cards. So he got the belt and then he went on with the belt unfortunately for me so I've been waiting a long time over over a year now it's been over a year just gone a year since the last fight so I'm looking forward to getting back in there and getting the Lonsdale belt back bringing it back home to Liverpool a lot of people said in that fight from interviews I've listened to that you were coming on very strong uh, was that the way that you saw it as well thought you could get the win in the end if the cut hadn't have come I'll tell you myself um, he wanted the way out of there if he was down on points and we knew he was down he'd have carried on with the cut he wanted the way out as soon as he got cut he took he took, he took the back door in my opinion he, I knew the energy wise he was spent. I'd um, I hadn't put half I, I got home that night and it and I was devastated because I had I felt like I could fight again. I could do another another fifteen rounds like that because I hadn't put the work in. I started very slow, which is my own fault. My fault. So um it was sort of frustrating because I should have put it on a area but when when the the ends of the day come he was spent. Obviously not going to go too much into your gameplay, not going to give it away on camera, but is that something that you may look at changing this time to start off at a faster pace? Yeah, well, it's obvious, isn't it? Just box better. I'm, I'm a better boxer than I'm, faster than I'm, smarter than I'm. I'm shrewder than I'm, you know, and I'm a lot more physically stronger than I'm. Um, they are a lot of facts, so just being on my on my A game, you know, I, was, um, I didn't get a warm-up fight before the last fight, and that's not like me being... Sore and not like that. I just I was just very rusty as you've seen in my performance. This time I've had a good warm-up fight. I had a good um, good outing a few weeks ago, so it, I'm feeling good. Feeling good in the gym. I'm learning new things as well. So we see different different boxer towards the same of of me old self as well. Obviously, I was just going to come on to that. So, second fight with Derry Matthews now. Is it a case of you learning new stuff all the time, or is it tweaking stuff that you're already good at and obviously trying to put the, the stuff that you're bad at, trying to learn and work on that? I think as a fighter, I never stop looking to learn, so I'm always doing that. But I also have to do what, what I'm good at. You know, I have to do what, what suits me best, and that's what we've done. Come back to me boxing, boxing nice, boxing smart and clever, but also learning new things, picking up new little things. And, Obviously, I know we spoke about this off camera before, but you uh, it's an away day for you. I know you've been up there before. Does that does that bother you fighting away from home? Really, you, you prefer home because it's just around the corner and it's familiar to it, but I've boxed in rain, rain Meadows before against Tommy's brother, actually, so um, all the, the Barmy Army will be going back up there and, and we'll bring the belt home again. It was a great night last time when we um, defended the belt. It was just a really, really mad night. Um, I, I actually got the belt and landed it out to everyone in the crowd, so, so I'm, I'm in the ring just one. <laughs> and the Lonsdale belt's floating around the crowd. <laughs> it was a bit of a mad night, but um, it, it was a great night for us and looking on doing the same again this time against Tommy and get, obviously getting me revenge. Looking on at the moment, uh, this early in camp, just to let the fight fans know. Anything and everything, really. Just oh, I always train, I'm always in the gym. I always want to train, so uh, loads of different things. I do yoga, I do... Um, I do mid runs, I do boxing, I do circuits, crossfit if I feel like. So I've got a variety of different things. I'm actually looking for more things to do because there's only so much training you can do in a day sometimes. So sometimes you're sitting in the, in the house thinking, I can't go and do another boxing session. I've already done 12 rounds today and stuff like that. Or I can't go and run again. I've done six miles. So I'm actually I look for more things to do. You obviously... Last time you fought uh, Tommy Ward, you, you were coming off the loss to Rigondeau. I know you're probably sick of talking about that fight now, but do you think that will help you, that fight? Because obviously it was a great champion, Rigondeau. Not so much the fight, because it didn't really do nothing, didn't get going or not like that, and, and it ended in a negative way for me. But I'd say the build-up for the fight and being at that level and around the media, the media hype and the different surroundings of the fight, yeah, definitely. It, it was a great experience all around. I enjoyed every single minute of it, really. Do it again? Yeah, tomorrow. Good man. Obviously, in as well in the gym, you've got the likes of David Price, Sam Maxwell. Does that help you when you're pre preparing for a fight, having those, obviously, Price's big name in, in Liverpool boxing, in boxing full stop around around the world, really? Does that help you, having those sort of people around you? Well, yeah, it's good lads in that, but I don't focus on 
on anyone else myself really I just focus I know I know where I'm going I'm going to be world champion I like I like to be around nice lads um, I like I like good personalities more you can pick things up like by watching them but I like to focus on myself really and to do what what on, on my path you know what I mean I like to see them doing well I like that part of like being around the, the fights when they're doing well and uh, and sure to sharing the nights with them and watching them do well and sharing the joy with them and hopefully being a part of that but when it comes to me I like to do my own thing just a little bit on boxing in Liverpool. It's thriving at the moment. Obviously, you've got Tony Bell, you just beat David Hay, Callum Smith in the World Boxing Super Series. If the Super Series came calling, would that be something that you'd consider doing? Definitely, 100%, yeah. If they were done my weight, I'd jump at the chance. I'd, I'd, I'd even move up a weight. Like, if Josh Warrington there winning the, the featherweight title, I'd beat Josh Warrington. I'm not, no disrespect to Josh Warrington, but I'd beat him easily. We've done lots of sparring together. I'd easily beat Josh Warrington, so... Championship fights like that come knocking, you take them. Obviously, as I said, then I mentioned about Tony Bellew. What would you advise Tony to do? Should he fight on? Should he give it up? Obviously, he's he's made his money. He's beaten a great champion in David Hay. What what would you advise him to do? My belief is, if you love the sport, carry on. If you don't love the sport, don't carry on. You know, money can um, you can swap your money for health, can you? Once it's gone, but if you can swap your your, your happiness is happiness and health. If you put them two things together, what? You know, is it any good being healthy if you're unhappy? If it, is it any good being happy if you're unhealthy? So I don't know. So maybe I wouldn't use money as a factor in that in that situation. So if he if he loves it and he wants to wants to do it, carry on. Certainly, I think um, fighters who uh, on that internet it's crazy, you know, the negative comments like people want to carry on, let let them box. You don't you don't see a plumber getting sl getting slated because he's been plumber for 50 years. He's an old man now. You don't see people saying, why are you still doing that? That's the fight is by trade, so if you want to do it, do it. And finally, Jazza, nine weeks out, give us a big fight prediction for your fight. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, but if, you, if, you, if you watch Rocky, you know that was Mr. T, but yeah, I'm going to win. And um, I see you win in, in good, good fashion. I believe I'll get a knockout this time. Super. Well, thanks very much for giving us some of your time today and hopefully we'll catch up with you either before the fight or just after it. Thank you very much. Thank you.